Hi everyone, adding Google AdSense to your website can be a fantastic way to make passive income. However, you need to be able to do it first. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to add Google AdSense to your website so you can start adding passive revenue. I've been able to do it successfully. This is my travel blog. We've just passed over 550 clicks every single day and we've been able to get passive revenue from Google AdSense. So I'm gonna tell you based on my experience and also make sure you stay around because I'm gonna tell you how to maximize your income from Google AdSense because there are some things that you need to do that some people overlook. But first of all, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you want to be able to do is just go to type in Google AdSense into Google and register your own account. Now there's actually four steps to adding Google AdSense to your Squarespace website. The first one is creating your account. The second step is connecting your Squarespace website to Google AdSense. Then it's turning on ads then it's optimizing ads to be able to get the maximum return. So if you already have a Google AdSense site, then step one obviously isn't necessary to you. But once you've actually got your Google AdSense account, what I'm gonna want you to do is head over to sites here. And this is where you're gonna be able to manage all of your sites. And all you need to do is get the URL of your website. This is my site, SEO Space. We are the leading Squarespace SEO experts. And all I want you to do is copy URL. Now this is something that has frustrated me time and time again if you just add in URL here and press save you're gonna get this message URL must be a valid top-level domain and trust me so many times I've just been pressing enter and I don't know how to do it all you want to do is just remove the this bit so all you need is your website and then dot whatever in this case dot uk and then you press save this is gonna successfully add your site to Google AdSense. And then to finish this step, all you need to do is verify your account. And in order to do that, the best way to do it is get your AdSense code snippet, which you just copy here. Then you want to go over to your Squarespace dashboard, which I'll do now. And what you need to do, you need to get this code and you need to put it in the between the header tags of your website, which is super easy to do. All you do is go over to settings, scroll down to the developer tools. This is the updated Squarespace dashboard and Squarespace has been making some changes to it recently. So if you don't know what to do, all you need to do is type in code injections. So injections there, and then you can press, but I'm just gonna go over to developer tools, code injection, and then you just need to add it into this header box here. So you need to take this code, copy it, enter. I'm not gonna do it on this website because I'm not adding ads to this site, but all you need to do is enter it in there, press save, and then come back to here and press I've placed a code and then press next. Sometimes it does happen instantly, but other times it does require a review because Google just needs to make sure that your site is actually applicable in order to add ads to it. And of course, if you have followed that step correctly, you will be ready to add ads to your website once it has been reviewed. Now, if it does take a little bit of time and if you've got any spare time in general, then I would recommend doing the SEO on your website because at the end of the day, if you want to make income from AdSense on your Squarespace, Space website, you need visitors to come to your site. And that's where SEO Space comes in. I'm the founder of SEO Space, the SEO plugin for Squarespace. And this is actually an article on our website that we have that is about how to add Google AdSense to Squarespace. And one of the benefits of SEO Space is all you need to do is take the keyword that you want to rank for, put it into the SEO Space, Squarespace SEO plugin and press scan after which it's going to give you easy to follow recommendations to tweak your web page in order to rank higher on Google. So as you can see here, it's giving us a number of suggestions to do to rank higher for the keyword that I've just added in. And we'll just wait a couple of seconds and I'll show you what happens when the scan is finished. So as you can see here, SEO Space has finished scanning this website. And because I'm on the agency plan, of this, I'm able to see premium suggestions, which are additional data back suggestions that allow you to rank above the competition. And as you can see here, I've got a number of recommendations in order to improve my website, such as to compress images, to use keywords more on our website, 
and on top of this every single feature has a little description and a video tutorial of me taking you through exactly how to optimize your website so seo and squarespace has never been easier and if you are going to add google adsense to your squarespace website you're going to want to make sure that you're getting traffic to it and seo space is the easiest way in order to do this for 99 percent of squarespace users if you're part of that one percent of users that don't want to do it themselves then of course you can hire my expert team but let's get back to google adsense so once your google adsense has been approved on your website what what you're going to want to do is actually add ads to your site and all you need to do is go to this ad section scroll down to the website and make sure that auto ads is on and the reason that i recommend auto ads is it's just going to make it much much easier because google is going to automatically add ads into your website at the best place in order to maximize your revenue which as long as you've got ads on will happen automatically which then takes us to step four which is actually optimizing your ads and what you're going to want to do is on the overlay format you want to make sure that you've got side rail ads on because side rail ads are the ads that are going to give you the highest amount of revenue per thousand views so you want to make sure you have side rail ads because basically advertisers will pay more to get on this part of your website so have this on in order to maximize it i personally don't have this ads on vignette ads sorry i don't really know how to pronounce that but essentially i just don't have that on because i don't want to increase the bounce rate on my website because that is bad for seo so i just have anchor ads and side rail ads and then as long as i've got that auto ads on google will automatically optimize things in order to get higher revenue and if you really want to take things a step further you can then go to this more settings where you can further allow google to optimize your existing ads again to increase the amount of revenue you get and you can change the ad load so if you want to have less ads on your website you can do this if you want more then you can change it from there i would recommend starting off in the middle and then increasing as you go on because the last thing you want to do is just add loads of ads to your website which then sends users away to then reduce the amount of traffic that you're getting to your website anyway because what's the point of having ads if no one is seeing them and you're not getting any money and of course as i've already mentioned if you want to optimize the revenue that you're getting from ads then you want to make sure you're doing SEO on your website so head over to seospace.co.uk in order to do that but thanks a lot guys thanks for watching this video hopefully it's been helpful and hopefully you've now got Google AdSense up and running on your website and of course leave a comment below if you do start generating revenue from Google AdSense because I just think that would be super cool to know that people have started making money from this video and of course please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I share Squarespace SEO tips very very regularly and a document growing my Squarespace SEO plugin. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.